an ex-employee of Kerala at the dynamic Mehmed of has declared that he will renounce his Azerbaijan citizenship unless the government investigates the case of his physical assault. According to Mehmedov and the relatives of two other Kerala employees who spoke today at a press conference in the International Press Center, the management of this candy manufacturing company mistreats its employees. Mehmedov alleged that the company operates on network marketing principles and the representatives of the company distribute the products of the company to regional trading networks. Then the management collects the money for the distributed products, including unsold goods. The management told Mehmedov that he owed 20,000 minutes to the company. When Mehmedov denied this, he was beaten. Following this, they forced him to strip naked, filmed him and shared the video among company employees. Namik Mehmedov has appealed to the president, the general prosecutor and the interior minister. However, investigations by Sabancha District Police Office No. 12 concluded with a refusal to open criminal proceedings against top officials at Kerala. Police have refused to open criminal proceedings in connection with the suicide of Khayyam Nagyev, a former Kerala employee. According to Nagyev's father, his son was forced to pay a debt of 10,000 manats, which he never owed in the first place. I paid 3,000 manats but they demand the 7,000 minutes more. I told them to launch a criminal case against my son if he was really responsible for any irregularity. But they went on intimidating him, and on December 5, 2011, my son hung himself. Apsharan Regional Prosecutor's Office refused to open a criminal case. My son left behind two small children, said Nahyev. The third victim, also a former employee of Kerala Asif Rehimov, lost his house in Ahmadli settlement. The company management sees his apartment as compensation for a 30,000 minutes debt they said he owed. His family appealed to the court but were then landed with another debt of 10,000 minutes. Last year, a different group of employees complained of extortion, intimidation, fiscal attack by company management. Kerala strongly denies all these accusations.